Well, what's up everybody? It is good to see all your smiling faces through my imagination right now because I can't actually see you, but you can see me. So hopefully I can get through what I'm trying to articulate to you as efficiently as possible. My name is Brian. If you don't know who I am, I would not be surprised because I don't have a big following and I'm not trying to achieve that at this point in my life. If you've seen the title of this video, video, it would be something along the lines of 30 days about social media or something like that. And that's the decision that I've made over the last 48 hours. I haven't gone posting on my Facebook or my Instagram, whatever, saying goodbye social media, letting everyone know. I haven't been messaging heaps of people and letting them know so I get that dopamine kick out like, ah, oh. so decided to put on YouTube because I don't really have issues with YouTube. I have never had any problems of posting on my personal YouTube. If you go from my YouTube, I don't put heaps of effort into every video. It's not always well edited or anything like that. Anyway, the point is, yeah, I need to shake something up in my life because I have not been myself for quite some time. Fell into some pretty bad head spaces again, might I say. This is been a repeating cycle throughout most of my adult life and I need to figure it out and get things straight because there's a few versions of me and there's a version of me who's extremely confident in himself, extremely happy and positive and very outgoing and unshakable. And then there is another version of me which is a pathetic, weak little man who can't seem to do anything right. And I don't really like that version of me, so I'd like to remove him. In the last year and a half, I've gained about 30 kilograms. Three zero kilograms. And if you're not from Australia, that is about 70 pounds, maybe more. And that's not something I like. I had abs for the first time in my life in 2018, and it was great. Felt good, looked good. Um, anyway, over the last 10 years, there has been two things that I believe are massive contributors to my repetitive downfalls. One, which I'm going to be open about today, is social media. And every single time I have had a social media break in the past, uh, sorry, I had to do that. I had like so much sandwiches because I'm intermittent fasting at the moment and I will talk about that so shortly. <laughs> um, so every time I've had a break from social media in the past, I have felt better and it might reflect onto that other point that I don't feel comfortable talking about openly at this stage, but I might in the future because I would like, I don't know, protecting myself, I suppose. But yes, it all reflects around social media and things that you see on social media and getting FOMO and feeling like your life isn't good enough because you're not living up to what other people are doing. And I never really thought that, that was a problem with me, but I think it might be. I think it might be, at least a little bit. And the fact that I have trained myself to keep picking up my phone and looking at it and switching off. And I remember as a kid in high school, before I had social media, I would get bored all the time. Like, oh, I hated it. I hated being bored. And now I miss it. I miss sitting there and literally having nothing to do. But in this day and age, I just, hang on, what do I focus on my face? Not what's going on behind me. Now I literally will pick up my phone and do anything. I will just look at apps. And that has trained me to not be present at all. I can't feel bored and it's not I'm not bored because I'm doing something fun and exciting. Just use my mind is used to switching off and just doing something that I don't really want to do. I'm just killing time. I see so many people the second they're not doing anything, whether they're waiting in line or waiting for a doctor or, or on the bus, the first thing they do is they pull out their phone. They don't sit on the bus and look at what, you know, man has created or nature or whatever they're going past. They don't say hello to the person sitting next to them in the doctor's office or their, their doctor's clinic or whatever. You know, and that's something you kind of had to do. Or even just sit back and watch the TV that's in the doctor's office, which I don't really like watching TV anyway for similar reasons. But, you know, it's an example. And, yeah, no one does that anymore. And I don't do that. And I try really hard to be present. But I still keep on wanting, wanting to run back to this thing. I do it a lot. And I remember one of the times I jumped off social media it was in 2017. I was very depressed before I did this. I had a family member die. Rest in peace to my niece, Angela, two years younger than me. I love you very much. And I f went downhill. 
my buddy was gone and all this stuff and yeah and I had to change something up but you know what I quit social media I was like screw it and I read a book called The Alchemist the first novel I ever finished as well and something in me changed I got really into this book I could stay focused I could focus on something for more than a few minutes I wasn't really a gamer anymore I didn't watch TV and I cut out social media and for the first time in my life I finished a book and what happened after that I started learning so much, whether it be about mental health or science or molecules or food or how it works in our body, and all these really weird things that I don't actually remember now. And eventually down the track, I lost my learning bug, but it was so weird because I was absolutely addicted to learning and it was fun because my brain was getting stimulated and it wasn't getting that bad form of stimulation. You know, it was like a drug addict. It's just like, oh man, skydiving and roller coasters and seeing family is great. But have you ever gotten high? Like, pfft. yeah, I can see why that would feel that way for them because they've got something that's so much easier to get their dopamine fix rather than doing all of those really essential things in life. And I'm, 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 I might get a dopamine fix from learning, but that takes a bit of effort. You know, I could just, just pick up this and get my dopamine fix every two seconds of the day. Why would I want to do anything else? And that's horrible. I don't want to live that kind of life. I mean, hell, I didn't want to live last year. I've been through these phases before, but man, I was in a pretty dark patch and I was pretty much making some plans that I never made plans before. And um, there was a big distraction that came along and that, thankfully, that yeah, that's probably why I'm still here and I don't, know, don't want to get too much in, more into it than that. But you know what? The I think I think I found the root of my problem. Well, one of them. <laughs> and it's this. I know I've got a lot of stuff on my own that I've got to work on and stuff. But that comfort blanket, so many people say it helps with your anxiety. Bullshit, it helps with your anxiety. It helps you stay in the same state that you are for the rest of your life because you use that to hide when you're feeling anxious rather than facing your anxieties or finding something that's healthy and real to deal with your anxieties. That's what I think's happening. And sure, maybe there are situations. You know what? No, I don't give a shit. That's what I genuinely believe. I didn't grow up without social media. I got bullied really badly in school. I didn't have anxiety or depression. Yeah, I had video games when I got home and stuff. But while I'm at school and doing other stuff, I didn't have a phone to hide by 24-7 or at least those six hours of the day. I'd get home. Uh, I got picked on today. Someone threw a rock on my head. Someone called me big head, loser, whatever. And I got over it. You know, I feel shit sometimes, but I didn't spiral. I didn't feel anxious. And now as a grown man who should be growing more confident and stronger within himself, I've got anxiety and depression all the time. You know, the biggest difference is, yeah, I'm going to work, but at least I can buy my own stuff. And I've got a mobile phone that I live on. I don't want to keep my phone for its camera, or its music. Texts and calls, sure. Maybe Google Maps. But... The social media stuff, the likes, the comments, the hate. If you actually have been a long time subscriber on my personal YouTube, whatever, that I've never ever tried to make big, never once. But if you followed me on this channel uh, for quite a long time, I fully lost my train of thought. See, I'm not present. No, I am present. I just forgot what I was saying. If you've been following me on my YouTube for a long time, you would see, if I stop this video and rewind it, I'd know exactly where I was going. <laughs> ah, yes. If you've been following me for quite a long time, um, you might not, you might, you still might not know, but I'm an animal rights activist and I haven't been, I've been, no, sorry, I've been one for over four years now. Uh, I'm proud about it. But you know what? One of the most toxic things that came along in the last four years has just been the vegan community. And I'm not trying to say the, the whole vegan community, but just the social media, the bickering, the fighting, and the hate. I was well recognized to an extent throughout Gold Coast, Brisbane, even Australia, and some people even over the world had seen me in the videos that I'd posted on my account. Vegan Life Change, very, you can look at it if you want. Um, it's a uh, proud moment of my life, but I let the hate of the mixed opinions like, destroy me. I felt bad for upsetting my friends and random people on the internet. I'm always trying to defend myself and justify my actions. And then, Jesus, I just did my head in. Did my head in. And, uh, yeah. 
and I don't want it to be like that anymore. I've got a go screw yourself sort of attitude now. If people really want to push me and just nitpick every little word I say and completely take the point out of context and take make it about something else, I'll just, well, maybe not a vegan life changer when I tell them to fuck off, but on my personal pages and stuff, see you later, delete, bye. Who gives a shit? Um, and that's definitely helped. <laughs> definitely helped. I wish I did that a couple years ago, though. I wish I did that when I still had abs. <laughs> But yeah, like, I gotta do something because life is not exciting anymore. It's just drama everywhere. And you know what? Sometimes there's drama in the Ving community or whatever kind of community you're in, whether you're religious or into sports or you're an entertainer or whatever, there's drama. But when you when you go to work, whether that be church, activism, sports, TV, whatever you're doing, just put the phone down and that's done. That's done. But if you're picking the phone up and obsessively looking at it, reading the comments and arguing with people, <sighs> arguing with people. It's so draining, especially when you're coming from a good place too, when you're fully open to communicating and people are just fully determined, determined to rip you apart and take you down. By the way, I did not script this. I'm just having a yarn to the camera and I appreciate that you're hearing me out. <sighs> if you watch my past videos and whatever, you can see that I am a man who goes through many transformations and uh, throughout my life, I've been very aware of my faults, I think, a lot of them. And I don't share them all. I try to be as open as I can. Uh, there's a lot of things I need to work on. But I know that I am not a scum piece of human being. I know that I do pretty well by other people. And I'm very approachable and I'm fine to have conversations. But there's just so much hate. So much drama, and I know that in the past, I recognize that the times I've stayed off social media, I've done pretty well. Um, so I am going to try and stay off social media for at least 30 days with the exceptions of YouTube, which I know I don't have any problems with. Um, so if I don't reply to your comments, you probably know why, but I usually do like to reply to every single person. Um, but I realize that creates a problem too, because then you feel bad and then you feel obligated to check your social media platforms and reply to comments and like the comments and make sure nobody's upset with you. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I might be on Facebook Messenger, but I won't be checking my Facebook, I won't be checking my Instagram. And what's so great, and I don't think even, I think my niece and another family member might be subscribed to my YouTube. I don't even think they're that big on YouTube. I don't share my YouTube or my social medias usually because I just never cared. I never cared about it. I've got it. I've got some videos where I've done tutorials on random things and they got like 20,000 views. I wasn't expecting them to get that many views, but they did. My channel is monetized. I think the monetization's turned off because I've only got like 150 subs and the rules have changed. But yeah. So that's it. I will be off of social media, except for here, for the next 30 days. And yeah, I'm trying to get my life together, try to be the best version of me. Um, and I definitely stopped trying and stopped caring for quite a long time. I'm over two weeks now in intermittent fasting. I only eat between the hours of 6 and 10 p.m. as I am a night shift worker. And I also have a business opportunity that I would like to get into. And I definitely, definitely, definitely am not focused on it because I get distracted too easily by something. And, and yeah, yeah. And I would like to get out of the rat race at least, or at least out of night shift. And if I can't do either, at least I could start a business and make good money and do something good with it because it's a tool and I would like to use that tool efficiently rather than, I mean, I've got little hobbies. Dragon Ball Z, anyone? <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh yeah, and I am determined to get out of debt this year, or at least pay off my larger debts. I'm in about $20,000 worth of debt. Half of that is one loan, and I'm going to try and knock that bad boy out very sh shortly soon, because I do also feel better when I'm not paying a whole lot. By the way, if you've been listening to me ramble for that long, thank you so much, and here is the sponsor of this video, Master Roshi Enterprises. <laughs> So I'm not sponsored. Um, but yeah, seriously, I hope... Well, you know, I hope what I've said has helped you in some way or given you some ideas. And it's good just to express and have some people hear it. You feel you're welcome to drop comments or not. You're welcome to like the video or not. I don't really care if you share it or not. Um, because at the moment, I, just, I don't care. I'm just sharing. I'm talking. I'm being me. I'm not worried about fancy lighting and looking fan as fantastic as I do. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, if there's anything you would like me to talk about, though, I do, I do like, I do like running my mouth and sharing my opinion and views. And I've been told that I've got a unique perspective, and and I mean that I've been told that in a respectful way. It wasn't like you got a real unique perspective, Brian. Good on you, buddy. Yeah, anyway, so um, yeah, I might, I might actually feel a bit more inclined to post some stuff on YouTube here and there now because of this. I have recorded a few YouTube videos in the past six months. One was a video on how to attach something to. Oh, here we go. I've got a Canon G7X Mark II. Do not buy this. Do not buy the Mark III. Canon, you let us down big time. Um, it's, it's pretty cool for a compact camera. Anyway, I'm not going to get into it. But I did a tutorial on how to put this on, recorded the whole thing, and I didn't bother posting it. Just didn't care. I mean, I recorded it, but I didn't bother posting it. I might, still might, but I just haven't had any drive to care about doing stuff, doing all the easy side. But maybe, just maybe, if I teach myself to focus again without meditating, I might start meditating. You never know. I might turn into an absolute beast of a human being and do something with my life. I'm 32 now. I'm 125 kilos as a vegan again, but I do eat a lot of shit. I ate eight pies yesterday. Get a load of that. But things might change and it might change by me getting out the voices. And I'll also see who my real friends are. So who actually wants me around when they're not seeing what I'm doing every single day through Instagram and so forth. I think that's it. If you got anything out of this, I'm happy. If you didn't, I'm sorry for wasting your time. If you hit subscribe, I mean, that would be cool. I mean, I would like more subscribers because it gives me some validation. As long as I don't get addicted to YouTube as well, that would be great. My name is Brian. Thank you for watching this video. <sighs> yeah, hopefully I do some cool stuff now that I've made this decision. This video will not last more than 20 minutes. I, I promise you. I promise, promise, promise. Um, and hey, you can also hit double time speed and get the video done in 10 minutes. I should have told you that at the start of the video. Um, but yeah, so I think that's it. I did move into a new house this year after being in a shithole for the last year. Very messy. I mean, I don't care if people are a little bit messy, but one of the housemates was an psycho like just just yeah that's that's a, that's a big rant um and yeah moving out was definitely good don't stay in the same place if you're not if you're miserable living in a certain house get out of there don't have too much pride and say oh, i was here first or i shouldn't have to go your happiness is so much more important just get out just go 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 live in your car it's not that bad i lived in my van i mean it's different to a car but still it was fine i miss doing that actually but now I've got this big room to myself and I'd show you, but it's messy and I care about what people think, obviously, or I would have showed you by now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have sat on my couch in my room to, to do this video. Ha! Huh, okay. You matter. You fucking matter. You matter so much. Oh, I swore now YouTube's going to mess with the algorithm. Oh, well. I hope no matter where you are in the world, whether it to be to do with COVID or the black rights protests that are happening all around the world and the riots and the damage and stuff, um, they, these protests need to happen though because enough's enough and too many people are dying but whether you're black, white, yellow, pink, orange mango colour, whatever I hope you are happy and well and safe and if you are not I hope you are working on a better tomorrow because you can do it and it might just start with something small like putting your phone down, keeping your room clean moving out of a house and not hanging around toxic people and getting caught up in toxic social media and all that sort of stuff. Can I bleed out the last 20 seconds of this video? Because I appreciate that you watch this. And I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Just because you're giving me your time. You're hearing me ramble. Like, it means a lot. You're all freaking awesome. And love you to bits. You're awesome. You matter. And never forget that. <laughs>